I'm Austin Mercer, and I'm going to be informing you today about cellular reproduction and the cell cycle. Our bodies are unique machines. They carry out functions every day that help us live and thrive. But what carries out these functions? What is there that is making us live? It's our cells. Our bodies have millions of cells that, produce, that carry out these functions each and every day. But even though that these cells produce these functions, sometimes they get old and they need to be uh, turned into new cells. There's a special process called mitosis that creates new cells. But before you can have mitosis, you need the cell cycle. As according to the National Human Genome Institute, there's three stages of the cell cycle. You have G1, which is interphase. Interphase is the stage that the cell grows and reproduces. It's the stage that the cell will spend the majority of its life in. Then you have synthesis, which is where DNA replication happens. DNA replication is the creation of new DNA that will be used later on in the cell. Then we have G2, which is where the organelles are doubled and we have new organelles ready for the next cell that are created. However, once this is finished, then we move into the mitosis stage. According to Khan Academy, there are four main stages of this uh, mitosis. You have protophase, which is the creation, which is where the nucleus or the membrane around the nucleus disappears and DNA is condensed in chromosomes. Then we move into metaphase. Metaphase is the stage where the chromosomes are fully condensed and they are moved into the center of the cell. Metaphase, then once metaphase is done, we move into anaphase. Anaphase is where the chromosomes are pulled apart into individual chromatids. Once these chromatids are pulled to the holes of the cell, we move into telophase. Telophase is where the cells fully split apart and we have two new daughter cells created out of the one cell that we started with. We also have cytokinesis that happens during the anaphase and telophase steps. Cytokinesis is the, du the doubling of cytoplasm because once two cells split, we have to have cytoplasm because that or all organelles and cells need a medium to live in. That's where the cytoplasm comes from. And even though this process seems very basic and like it can nothing can go wrong, there's a lot that can go wrong. According to cancerquest.org, if DNA is damaged, not fully replicated, or lacks the nutrients that supports its growth, it will stop production. This can be for a variety of issues such as the creation of cancer cells or cells not being able to produce fully. This can cause many problems and it is caused by the uh, checkpoints in the cell cycle. There are certain checkpoints throughout G1, S, and G2 that checks for these issues. And if there's an, any issue whatsoever with any of these problems, all production will stop until the cell can be fixed. It might be that the cell might die off completely. It might be a self-induced death, which is known as apoptosis, or it'll spend longer time, more time in the G1 or G2 stages to finish its growth. These stage, the cell cycle can be a very interesting topic. Without the cell cycle, we will not be able to have new cells that can produce our functions, help us live, and carry out any, and fight off any diseases that may come up in our life. It is very important that we keep our bodies healthy and can carry on these functions. Without, if we were to, if all production of cells were to stop, we would no longer be able to live. All life would end because our cells would eventually get old and wouldn't be able to carry out the functions in our body. This is the cell cycle and cellular reaper and mitosis that helps perform the necessary functions we use to live.